As you guys know, I have one of the coolest Instagrams in town. I mean, we have taken excellent, amazing, hilarious photos, but also sometimes I'm a grade A supermodel. How do I achieve this greatness? I fake it till I make it. I've realized that in this modern society, how we portray ourselves on Instagram is apparently very important. I personally think it's nonsense and I like to troll, but nonetheless, today I will be showing you how to get the good, good Instagram. My tip number one is, don't be worried if you have a professional photographer or you just have a friend or an enemy or an ex-boyfriend taking your photos because you can teach anyone how to take a good photo. When you take the photo like this, like when you angle it downwards, you make the people look short. What's important in a photo is that you capture the whole background. So what I tell people to do is I'm like, try to get the whole thing. I kind of position the phone for them and I'm like, get the whole background. Like don't pay attention to how I look and always angle the phone up. So that way, even if the person is not a professional photographer, they can still get an awesome photo of you. Kimmy, one of my best friends, is a professional photographer, but she sends me the photos in a file called RAW. And sometimes, they're really, 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 really dark. They're like actually almost black, because we shoot at sunset, but don't worry, you have apps to fix that. So don't worry if the photo comes out looking like this in the camera, with a little magic of editing, it can look like this. I personally like to use a photo editing app called Epic that have recently shown me how how to make my photos into magazine styles. This app has combined it all into one so you can get like the best things ever. Okay, so basically what you have to do is open the Epic app and here there's a lot of different functions but you basically select whichever photo you wanna edit. I like this one, I was just rolling around in the sand in Tulum but as you can see the photo is actually very dark because we shot it at sunset. Personally go to adjust and there I adjust the brightness, the looks and the contrast to make it how I like. Then I go into something called HSL which you can change specific colors only so I take the yellow color and I drag down the saturation so that that way the sand looks white so I look like I'm at a really clean nice white sandy beach like the kinds that are in magazines and then after that because there's seaweed literally everywhere and like bottle caps and cigarette butts what I do is I go to remove and then from then on I just click like crazy and I just select every little seaweed cigarette butt whatever kind of sand there is that doesn't look clean and then another thing is i know you're worried about that piece by my hair i know it's really frustrating all of us but don't worry i'm just going to clean it up and this app will get it completely so that's the difference of the before and after isn't it insane like my second tip for doing photos is to be very confident i'm not kidding you pretend you're a supermodel this is like a hack this is my number two hack i like to put my airpods in my ears and listen to my favorite most amazing song and pretend I'm a supermodel walking down a runway and then I feel so much prettier you have no idea so like obviously you can't always wear like airpods in your photos but you can literally edit them out so for this specific photos with my airpods there's other ones in the series that I like more like this this and this but I just wanted to show you if you are wearing your airpods all you have to do is grab the remove tool take the little paintbrush and brush away the airpod it'll kind of blend in with the hair and then you won't even see it so don't worry if your favorite photo is the one with the airpod it's fine trust me next time you're doing a photo shoot even selfies at home play music on your phone or your computer Computer, and then look at the selfies you just took and I promise you you'll be like wow I'm so freaking hot another tip that I have for you guys is to stop waiting for the perfect moment and the perfect lighting and the perfect sunrise to take a photo some of the coolest photos I've ever taken are just super natural and not staged like the photo of me drinking a beer like upside down on a boat in Thailand that wasn't meant to be a photo that wasn't a properly planned photo shoot whereas some of the photos that I spend a long time on I'm like thinking about the location and the outfit and the style and the vibe aren't as cool because they're so staged. So what I always recommend is like have some movement in your photo by using your hair. If you have wind outside, it's literally amazing. If you can walk back and forth, it's brilliant. It's so important that you feel natural and happy and confident. So next time you go get coffee with your friends or next time you're just out doing something, just be like, hey, can you snap a photo? And don't pose, just kind of like, you know, naturally like move around, create shapes with your body and they'll come out looking so nice. And then I wanted to show you guys how I made this photo look like it was a little bit more magazine-y because straight out of the photo roll, it doesn't really look as cool. So I put some makeup on for this photo, but it wasn't like showing strong enough, so I definitely added some. It's cool because you can try out like different lip colors and like eyelash combos to see what you would like better. Then I relit the lighting on my face, like making it look as if there's a ring light placed on my face. After that, I went and I made my hair like a little bit more smooth and shiny and like a little bit less like 
separated pieces like the extensions are coming out girlfriend get it together and then one of my favorite cool things is a brush tool which lets you do things like add little freckles or sparkles so I added little freckles to my face and I added sparkles to my bracelet after that I went through the filters and I picked one that I liked I wanted it to look more like grainy and magazine-y so I added a little bit of grain and then a lot of warmth because I noticed the photo came out really cool but then I made myself kind of orange and how you fix your orangeness is you take the HSL and you take the luminance of the orange down so you look tan but you also take the saturation down so you don't look orange so that really fixed it and then this is the before and after and I think it looks so much better because before it's kind of like cool and dark and obviously the sun setting you don't get that like nice sunlight but when you add in all those filters you make it look like it's a perfect sunny day and you're actually tanning and you didn't just take this photo because you needed it so basically that's my tips for today I just wanted to inject a little confidence in you guys and for you to have fun taking photos photos whether you have a professional photographer or not just enjoy the experience and I, and I promise your photos will come out so much cooler than if you were to really stress yourself about it and hire a professional photographer so have a really good day I love you lots Lana out bye